Hey guys, Crewman here. A few weeks ago, I made a video predicting the hash rate of the 4060 Ti. So for the first video with the 4060 Ti in my hands, I want to see how I did. Now I want to preface two things. When I calculated the hash rates, I used what I thought was a pretty scientific method by comparing the 4070 to the 4070 Ti and taking the percentage of the, of the CUDA cores and the bus and then applying that same method to the 4060 Ti comparing it to the 4070. Now when I guessed the power draw I tried a little bit of a scientific method but it, it wasn't it certainly wasn't as scientific as guessing the hash rate and it was a little more uh, my experience and, and just honestly guessing and I think my results will reflect that. So another thing I want to go over as well is to get my initial overclocks for the 4060 Ti, I started out with hashrate.no, and then I played around with some settings by upping you know, the core offsets and the, the core clock locks for these algorithms. And you will see that on the chart that I show right now. So the first one I want to go over is Nexa. Now, my initial thoughts, as you can see here, were that I guessed over in terms of power, I was pretty accurate on the hash, and you can see the lower end of the settings, and then when I crank the settings up a little bit, it ranged between 82 to 92 mega hash. The power in the software ranged from 103 to about 115. The actual power draw was between 126 and 143, and you're looking at about a 30 watt difference between the software power and the actual power. Now I thought it would use more power at 165 watts, so I was wrong on that. My thoughts initially with the 4060 Ti, I would initially compare it to the 3070 and the 3060 Ti, and you know, the results aren't bad, they're not great. I, again, I need to do more testing on it. Now let's go to ETC, and oh, so I guessed that we would get about 40 to 42 mega hash, about 100 watts. And I, my, and that was a that was a conservative guess, and I thought that was going to be bad, and I was thought there's no way it does worse than that, and I was wrong. The card I have somehow does worse. Now I don't know if that's you know um, silicon lottery or not, but I'm getting about 38 uh, mega hash at about 95 watts at the wall, 72 watts at the software. I didn't really, I mean, I played with it a little bit. I tried to up the core clock, and I tried to up the. Um, the memory and I didn't really get any anything better actually I got worse efficiency as I upped the settings so we're just gonna go with this um, to give you an idea of just how bad this is the 1660 super if you had one of those souped up Hynix ones I had a few of them uh, you were getting about 34 to 37 mega hash now it wasn't that st it wasn't stable all the time but I'm, I'm literally comparing the 4060 Ti to the 1660 Super. And the 3060 actually ended up doing about 47 mega hash at about 100 watts in the wall for Ethereum back when you could mine it. So, you know, as far as memory algorithms go, they're, this is a dud. I mean, you're comparing it to models that are cheaper, that were cheaper at MSRP and two years older than this. So, yeah, it's, it's a dud. Now on to Radiant. So for Radiant, I had guessed about 910 mega hash at about 90 watts at the wall. So I, I did. I played with all of the settings. Uh, you can see from the bottom to the top. Uh, the bottom was the hash rate dot nose medium overclock settings. So you can see that I was I was within the range um, as far as the power went. My power guess was lower. An accurate guess. You know, I, I accurately guessed the hash at the higher end and the power at the lower end, which, you know, I would say wasn't there. Uh, you know, my power, like I said before, when I guessed the power, I was less precise. But I think as I guessed the hash, I was, you know, I was pretty close. Um, my thoughts on Radiant, I mean, it's okay comparing it to the 36, 30, or the 3070 and 3060 Ti. It's definitely a lot better and it's definitely a lot more efficient, but I'll need to do more testing to come up with some concrete results and, and form an opinion. This is my initial video. Um, you know, I was pretty happy that I got pretty close to the hash rate guesses. You know, I felt that I had a pretty good, uh, relatively scientific method to guess them. And I'm, you know, I'm honestly kind of proud of myself for it. It was the first time I really did it. And uh, I learned a lot about that. 
As far as comparing it for mining, you know, I've only tested three algorithms and I didn't spend a ton of time on it. I want to say I spent about 40 to 45 minutes on each algorithm playing around with the numbers. You know, I would say it's direct compare. Uh, you're going to make direct comparisons to the 3070 and the 3060 Ti. And the jury is out. Um, one thing I think might happen, and again, this is just initial thoughts. I actually think that if mining gets really popular again, I feel like the poor memory performance on the 4060 Ti might actually lead to the prices of the 3070 and the 3060 Ti going up in the used market to the point where you might see the 4070 Ti assuming it drops in price which I think it will because it's it's a dud you know it's it's funny I actually went to micro center today and I talked to an employee and he said that there was about 60 of them in stock and they, they couldn't sell them even if they tried and I think that will cause the price to go down and if you see a simultaneous price increase for the 3070 because of how poor the 3060 Ti is, I think you might find these things neck and neck in price after everything is said and done. Anyway guys, thank you for listening to this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. I plan on doing a lot more 4060 Ti content this week and next week. I've got at least a month with this thing. Uh, should I keep it? I'll have longer than that. So I've got a lot of great content coming toward, coming for you. Thanks again for watching. Crew Man out.